Hello? Welcome to our exciting journey into the wild. Today, we meet a very special animal that has fascinated scientists and nature enthusiasts alike for many years. It is the Komodo dragon, a creature that seems to have walked straight out of a prehistoric era. This is the biggest lizard on Earth. Can you believe it? Imagine standing next to one of these giants. These amazing creatures live on a few islands in Indonesia, specifically on Komodo, Rinka, Flores, Gili Motang, and Padar. These islands provide the perfect habitat for these incredible reptiles. They are very interesting, and I want to tell you all about them. From their hunting techniques to their unique biology, there's so much to discover. The Komodo dragon is a type of lizard, but a very big one. In fact, they are the largest living species of lizard. They can grow up to 10 feet long. That's longer than most people at all. That's like a small car. Imagine having a lizard the size of a car in your backyard. They are very heavy too. Their muscular bodies are built for power and endurance. They can weigh up to 154 pounds. That's about the weight of an average adult human. These creatures are not actually dragons even though they have that name. They don't breathe fire but they do have some fascinating features. But they are very cool lizards. Their forked tongues help them sense their environment, much like snakes. Let's learn more about them. Komodo dragons are carnivorous and have a unique way of hunting. They rely on stealth and power to take down their prey, which can include large animals like deer and even water buffalo. They have a keen sense of smell, which they use to locate their prey. Their saliva contains toxic bacteria, which can cause severe infections in their victims. Once they bite their prey, they often follow it until it succumbs to the infection, making it easier for the Komodo dragon to consume. Their powerful jaws and sharp teeth allow them to tear through flesh and bone with ease. After a big meal, they can go for weeks without eating again. Their slow metabolism allows them to survive on infrequent meals. Komodo dragons are solitary creatures, coming together only to mate and feed. They are territorial and can be quite aggressive towards each other. Female Komodo dragons lay eggs, which they bury in the ground. The eggs incubate for about eight months before hatching. The young dragons are vulnerable to predators, including adult Komodo dragons, so they often climb trees to stay safe. As they grow, they become more adept at hunting and eventually descend from the trees to live on the ground. Komodo dragons play a crucial role in their ecosystem, helping to control the populations of their prey species. Conservation efforts are in place to protect these magnificent creatures and their habitats. It's important to ensure their survival for future generations. So join us as we delve deeper into the world of the Komodo dragon. There's so much more to learn and appreciate about these incredible reptiles. Stay tuned for an adventure into the wild. Komodo dragons are very strong. These magnificent creatures, native to a few Indonesian islands, are the largest living species of lizard. They can grow up to 10 feet in length and weigh as much as 150 pounds. Their sheer size and muscular build make them formidable predators in their environment. They have powerful legs and sharp claws. These claws are not just for show, they are essential tools for survival. Komodo dragons use their claws to dig burrows for shelter and to unearth prey hidden beneath the ground. Their legs, strong and sturdy, allow them to move swiftly and with great agility, whether they are hunting or evading threats. They use these to catch their food. When hunting, Komodo dragons rely on their stealth and patience. They can lie in wait for hours, blending seamlessly into their surroundings before launching a sudden and powerful attack on unsuspecting prey. Their claws and legs work in unison to secure their catch, ensuring they rarely miss a meal. Komodo dragons have big mouths full of teeth. These teeth are not just any teeth, they are razor sharp and serrated, designed to slice through flesh with ease. Each tooth is curved backward, helping to grip and tear apart their prey. This dental structure is crucial for their carnivorous diet. Their teeth are serrated like a knife. This unique feature allows them to inflict deep wounds on their prey, making it easier to consume large chunks of meat. The serrations act like a saw, cutting through tough hide and muscle effortlessly. This is particularly useful when dealing with larger animals. They use these teeth to tear apart their food. Once they have caught their prey, Komodo dragons waste no time in devouring it. Their powerful jaws and serrated teeth work together to rip and shred the meat into manageable pieces. This efficient feeding process ensures they get the maximum nutrition from their meals. Their tongues are long and forked, 
This distinctive feature is not just for show, it plays a vital role in their survival. The forked tongue allows them to pick up chemical cues from the environment, which are then analyzed by a special organ in the roof of their mouth called the Jacobson's organ. They use their tongues to smell the air. By flicking their tongues in and out, Komodo dragons can detect the presence of prey, predators, and potential mates. This highly developed sense of smell is one of their most important hunting tools, allowing them to track down food even in the dense underbrush of their habitat. This helps them find food. Their ability to detect scents from great distances gives them a significant advantage in the wild. They can sense the presence of a carcass from several miles away, guiding them to potential meals that other predators might miss. Sometimes they can smell food from far away. This remarkable olfactory capability ensures that Komodo dragons are rarely left hungry. Their keen sense of smell, combined with their physical prowess, makes them one of the most efficient and fearsome predators in their ecosystem. Komodo dragons live on a few islands in Indonesia. These islands are hot and sunny. They like to live in forests and grasslands. They need places to hide and hunt. These islands are important for the Komodo dragons. They need our help to protect them. Komodo dragons are carnivores. This means they eat meat. They like to eat deer and pigs. They will also eat other animals. Sometimes they even eat smaller Komodo dragons. They are very good hunters. Section 5. Hunting. Komodo dragons use their powerful legs and sharp claws to catch their prey. They can run very fast when they need to. They are very strong and can knock down large animals. Sometimes they hunt together in groups. This helps them catch bigger prey. They are amazing hunters. Section 6. Social Behavior Komodo dragons are usually solitary creatures. This means they like to live alone. They spend most of their lives in isolation, patrolling their own territories and hunting for food. Their solitary nature is a key aspect of their survival strategy, allowing them to avoid competition and conflict with other dragons. But they do come together sometimes. Despite their preference for solitude, there are certain occasions when Komodo dragons gather in groups. These gatherings are usually driven by specific needs or circumstances. They might come together to mate or to eat. During the mating season, male Komodo dragons will seek out females, often traveling long distances to find a mate. This is one of the few times they actively seek the company of another dragon. When they eat together, there is a hierarchy. Food sources, especially large carcasses, can attract multiple dragons. In these situations, a social structure becomes evident. This means that the bigger, stronger dragons eat first. The dominant dragon, usually the largest and most powerful, will feed first, while the smaller and weaker dragons wait their turn. This hierarchy helps to maintain order and reduce conflict during feeding. They communicate with each other using hisses and body language. These vocalizations and physical displays are crucial for establishing dominance, signaling threats, and coordinating social interactions. For example, a dragon might inflate its throat and hiss to warn others to stay away from its territory or food. Additionally, Komodo dragons use scent marking to communicate. They have a highly developed sense of smell, which they use to detect chemical signals left by other dragons. This helps them to identify the presence of rivals or potential mates in their vicinity. Young Komodo dragons, however, exhibit different social behaviors. Juveniles are more likely to be seen together, often climbing trees to avoid predators and older dragons. This arboreal lifestyle is a temporary phase, as they will eventually adopt the solitary habits of adults. In summary, while Komodo dragons are predominantly solitary, their social behaviors are complex and varied. They balance their need for isolation with occasional interactions that are essential for reproduction, feeding, and communication. Understanding these behaviors provides a deeper insight into the lives of these fascinating reptiles. Section 7. Reproduction Female Komodo dragons lay eggs. They bury their eggs in the ground. The eggs hatch after about 8 months. The baby Komodo dragons are called hatchlings. Section 8. Conservation Status Komodo dragons are endangered. This means they are in danger of becoming extinct. There are not many Komodo dragons left in the wild. People are working hard to protect them. We need to help them. Section 9. Conclusion Komodo dragons are amazing creatures. They are the biggest lizards on Earth. They are important to their ecosystem. They are also a popular tourist attraction. We need to protect them so that they can continue to thrive. 
Thank you for joining me today to learn about the Komodo dragon.